everyone, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so I just got back from Paris. <laughs> I have a ludicrously capacious bag. This is my 31, oh my God, obnoxious, 31 Rue Cambon. Okay, let's do a real picture with this smaller bag. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> this is my 31 Rue Cambon haul from my trip to Paris. Um, okay, quick story time. Everyone's gonna hate me for it, but I can't not give the story. Um, and my bags are like jumping out. I don't know if my chair is in a weird place. Has been away from home for too long. <sighs> you guys, I had the best time in Paris. Shopping notwithstanding, it was just, we arrived on the most beautiful spring day and the sunset was like a completely pink, orange, purple, gold, glow and we were eating dinner looking at the Eiffel Tower it was just like amazing and the whole trip just remained kind of amazing like that uh the first day we got there I had my Chanel appointment it was I um, need to quit saying amazing but amazing my uh local Chanel boutique emailed Rue Cambon for me in advance and help me set up an appointment with a sales associate there. And I got the best sales associate ever. She was so amazing, so cool, so nice. When I showed up, they had like the whole room set up for me, all the different ready to wear in my sizes, different bags, different accessories. And then there was another surprise at the end that would just like, kind of blew my mind. And so at the end of this unboxing, we'll talk about that surprise and that will kind of help transition into part two of this video. So settle in though. This will be a long one. Um, I will just start pulling things out. Let's start with ready to wear. There's some other stuff in here. Okay, so the sweetest essay ever. She wrote me a very cute card and it's on this really pretty camellia cardstock. I don't know if you can see because the light's so big, but she was just the absolute sweetest. And um, actually, so the first day, like I told her some items I was looking for, there are some items on my wish list that I didn't end up getting. Um, and we can talk about that at the end too. But let's just get into the ready to wear. So I don't even know what this is. Oh, and I'm gonna have to cut this video because I just realized that something's not in this bag. Okay, the first item, this is, I like kind of like got some unexpected items for me, I feel like. This is the prettiest little sundress. It's like very um, Parisian. I don't know, it's just like in, in a mood. Okay, so it's this sexy little dress with like bow print all over, but it has um, a lining. You just can't see it inside. It has a lining but it's just like a really kind of like sexy sort of chic vibe. I believe that this was from 24P. I told you guys I was obsessed with 24P collection. And I feel like it was just like really wearable, very cool, something that like would be good on vacation. It's good for summer. It's gonna start being warm here. And it was like so springy there and it was really flattering and cute. And so this is the first item. Unfortunately, um, Unfortunately, in Europe, they only give you this tag. They don't give you the other tag. So if I'm going to go through and try and figure out prices to share with you guys, I was really embarrassed uh, at customs yesterday when I told the person how much I spent and they were like, excuse me, what? And I was like, well, you guys don't judge me. I think this was probably... I can go off the size because I took this in a size 42 because it ran a little generous. And so this was um, 38.50 euro, but uh, minus 12% back. I say like, or like with conversion, maybe it's like 10% off of that. Okay, so that's item number one. This is gonna take forever at this rate. Okay, so freaking cute. And oh, here, let me show you the cute little CC buttons. I'll have to do another video that's like styling or trying all this on because unboxing it's gonna be enough as it is. Okay, let me just pull some more. Oh. Okay, oh, you guys. 
I was literally in heaven. Okay, this is from the new uh, spring summer collection. And you're gonna be like, Maddie, what were you thinking? Why is everything see-through? No, this is also so chic. Sorry, it's wrinkled from travel. It's like a sheer little t-shirt top, uh, but you can layer it with a tank top. And I just, it looked so cool on. I was, yeah, having a Paris vibe. But even with like a little like tank top bralette underneath or like one of those little Lululemon things, I think that it's just like, it's kind of sexy. I'm like my sexy era, you guys. Okay, so that was the t-shirt. This I took, and it has a um, really subtle CC in the front, like just black enamel. This I took in a size 44. Oh, so wrinkled from the suitcase. And so that was 1,600 euro, I think. Okay, so there's that. This next item, also a really basic item, easy breezy. I took in a size 48 and it is like a little white t-shirt with a number five perfume bottle on the front. Just like really a subtle applique, I think. I'm not sure what season, they've done this a few times. Um, there was a version of this for Cruise, but I don't think that's what this is. Um, it might be for S too. And here's a little CC rhinestone at the bottom. I'm not sure, but all of this was kind of mix, mixing and matching into really cute outfits with not this item, this item, which I really like, which I think is also from P, which is this knit skirt. Look at how chic. So it's navy, pink, gold, silver, white, but this was just like going with everything. It felt so classy, so comfy. It has um, a nude, a stretchy liner in it. Normally, like the liners were really working for me. I feel like a lot of times liners, kind of, they either, like they run smaller than the garment. This is in a size 46 and it's a really good length. And it just like, okay, the both t-shirts looked really good with it, even though one's black, black and navy. And it's just kind of like was mixing and matching into like a really kind of cool sort of vibe. All right, and this item's also P and a, this is the second to last clothing item. The last clothing item I have to go get. So we're gonna be stitching this video together. It is this sequin. Oh wait, this isn't from Rue Cambon, but whatever, it's, I'm already like ahead of myself. This I actually got at Bond Street. Um, There's a essay there that I knew from a previous trip and he brought this out and it was like, this is just like so cute and fun for summer over a white dress, over that black dress, like all black underneath. And it has these CC hook and eye closures. I don't know if you can see them. It's just a really fun rainbow sequin top, like a going out top. So I loved that. And then the last item is so good. I'm gonna go get it. I was getting everything organized earlier today and so stuff is all over the place, but okay, we're back. We're back. In here is the last item. They put it in this like really industrial dust bag and then it has the normal dust bag underneath. This is also P, but it is just so perfect for work, so chic. It is this black and white jacket with these really cool buttons. They have, they say Chanel throughout, but they're like sequins and it's like black, white and silver. I just think this is like perfect for like work events, work trips, stuff like that. It's Chanel, but it's very subtle. So there's that. And then the last ready to wear item, and then we'll get into the accessories. The last ready to wear item was something that was on my wish list that um, my essay there was able to find for me. To, the last one was actually located in Spain. Um, and it is in a, you know, with Chanel, I could wear anywhere from, or I, 
I can wear. Literally, the when I went, I bought size 42, 44, 48, 46, like all over the freaking board. I was trying on size 50s, like literally anything is possible. So this was a 42 and I was so excited that it fit. It came in on my second to last day. But this is the skirt that matches the one shoulder top that I have from this collection that I love so much. It's from 23K and it's just, it's a skirt, they only produced it in Europe, so it wasn't available in the US. It has the really pretty camellia flower buttons. And now I just have the full look and I'm so excited to wear it. I'm so excited they found this. This is like truly like the magical moment. Um, yeah, and I just felt like I had a really special relationship with my essay. And then this could also re be really cute with like not a matching set with the one shoulder top, but it could be like with t-shirt or bodysuit. So there's multiple ways to wear it. It's a really good length also. Two kind of mini skirts, who is she? Okay, now let's get into, all right, quick divert into cosmetic. And I already went through some of this cosmetic in a very chaotic packing video, uh, but I think I'll post the chaotic packing video after these unboxing videos because it's pretty chaotic. <laughs> um, it's kind of it's kind of niche for like the niche crowd that watches all the videos, not for the, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not gonna talk about it. Okay, so I got a couple of items from the new collection. This highlighter from the Mermaid collection is actually so pretty. I don't wanna swatch it because I have a lot more to get through and I can't have dirty hands, but this is like highlights blue. It's super pretty. I think it's still available online in the US. This item sold out in the US, but it's the Mermaid eyeshadow palette in blue and brown. And But I just thought these like the brown taupe color and like the peachy pink color like really wearable and good and I have blue eyes. And so I thought that'd be fun for me. I also picked up the blue eyeliner to go with it. And then a couple, um, this is the Le Beige's Waterfront, Water, fresh tint and I got two colors because I'm in between colors right now so I mixed them to get like a more perfect match and so that was cosmetic and then I got something really super special that isn't available yet in the U.S. It is the Comet Le Exclusive perfume in the small size. This perfume is coming out in May in the US. And so for now, it's only available in Paris, but this one actually was only available in, in not 31 Rue Sambon, it meant to Rue Sambon, but they have it to test all over. Anyway, so here it is. I don't know if you can see the label. It smells so good. So it's like kind of floral. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so it's like really powdery, floral, but then it like went to start, you know, but then it kind of like bakes down into like less iris and more like almond. So it's kind of like a flower cookie. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a perfume expert, but it to me, like on me, it smells really almondy, but on the card, it smelled really powdery. And so I guess with my particular body chemistry, it has like more of this like rich kind of like toasty, toasty powder. It's kind of like almond. I don't really understand perfumes, you guys, but I was really excited to get this. And my friend on Instagram, um, CC Spy, told me about this and um, connected me with someone in the beauty department. And so that was really exciting. I actually have a bunch more perfumes that I picked up in... Paris and so I'm going to do another perfume separate just perfume video. Um, I went to this really cool perfume shop called Jovoy that was like near my hotel and it was just like stunning and I got so many great perfumes. I I just I was like I need to stop wearing Baccarat Rouge 540 and smelling like everybody and their grandmother and I need something a little bit different and so I'm really excited this is going to be super different especially for like the next month and then the other stuff I got is going to be different forever and it's so much fun okay so there's that 
Um, okay, this is for later. Okay, then, then what? Okay, then the, this was something that was on my wish list. I originally had said that I wanted to get the Mary Jane shoes in white silk. Well, uh, I ended up with something different, but I think you guys will be happy. I ended up getting the black leather Mary Janes. Uh, you know, who, somebody said like silk will get dirty, but I like, and I already have a pair of white flats. And I was noticing that my black flats, as I was like getting ready to pack, were looking pretty, pretty raggedy. <laughs> and so I needed something fresh. These got a little squished in transit, but these are very much like a ballet flat. So if you look at the bottom, it's quilted like that. Then there's the strap across the top and it is adjustable. But the way you do it is you don't, you just buckle this where you need it for, um, you know, the height of your foot. And then when you put the shoe on, you don't buckle it and unbuckle it. There's like a hook here and you just slide it through and then you're, it stays on like that. So it's actually a very clever design. I did leave the box in Paris and they did get crushed in my suitcase. Listen, I had a lot of stuff to bring back. Um, I was okay not bringing the box for these because I just knew, you know, I'm going to wear them to death and I probably won't resell black flats after wearing them to death. Like pretty much I'm going to put these shoes into their grave three times over. Um, you do it once and then you take it to the cobbler and then uh, the cobbler revives them and then you do it again. And then when the cobbler says, ma'am, I actually cannot revive these shoes one more single time then then you know they're they're done done so no box needed for that i did size up in these um i think i have a high instep and so that's why the band is a little bit looser on mine and um i sized up half a size so in case that helps and i actually might want to get these in pink too because while i was on the trip something happened to my pink flats i don't want to talk about it okay well i can talk about it there is a little pearl CC that fell off one of them. So very sad, but that's okay. Things happen. Okay. Next. This. Okay. So the essay that um, set up the whole room for me was so cute and sweet and beautiful. And she set up like whole looks for me. And so I actually, I didn't really walk around the store and shop. I was just like in the room trying stuff on. And then as I tried it on, I was like, oh my gosh, I love these. Um, these were like not really on my radar totally. But when I put them on with the outfit, I was like, oh no, yes, these are the ones. So they're Chanel sunglasses with little white CC hearts and the hearts open and they're like a little mirror in there. But look at how good these look on me. Like I put them on, I was like, wow, why is this such a freaking vibe for me? And they come with, okay, a million paperwork and a little dust cloth. I need to put one of these dust cloths in my car. Okay. So then, I mean, like later on, like when I um, visited a second time, she was like giving me a tour of the store and there was like this giant wall of sunglasses. And I was like, I don't know how I would have ever picked a pair of sunglasses. So. Thank goodness that she just like pulled these for me and they ended up working really well. Like they're so perfect. Okay, this next item was on like my wish list in a weird way, but I hadn't mentioned it or said anything to anyone. And so, but again, it was in my fitting room. And so it's like, I don't know. I don't know who I said this to or if I wrote it down somewhere, how it came to be, but like I definitely manifested this item into my room. bag this is such a cool little scrunchy waist belt with a little pearl cc and i was so shocked that they even had this in my size but here it is in my size and it just looks so good <clears throat> oh my gosh excuse me i'm talking too much like over a little black dress or like if you have a longer shirt Something that needs to be cinched in at the waist. This is such a versatile piece. Um, who am I trying to think of? <clears throat> I can't 
don't remember her name. I have a friend on Instagram who has one of these and it was so cool. And I was like, I need to put that on my wish list. And I did in my mind, but I don't know how it manifested itself into my dressing room. Okay. Oh, sorry. I haven't, I've been neglecting prices. Okay. So the belt, it was 1340 euro. The sunglasses were 850. Did I miss anything? I don't know. If, if you need to know the price of something, DM me on Instagram and I will let you know. Okay. Then, oh gosh, this bag. Okay. Then she gave me this really sweet book as a gift. It's the um, spring summer kind of book catalog thing, which is such a cute memento to have with me forever. I regret, I bought, tried on that cape and I didn't get it and now I regret it. But listen, it added up, okay. Then, and this was such a random kind of impulse buy too, but again, what was so nice about this experience is I felt like I was actually being styled in a way, like, the navy skirt looks good with the jacket looks good with the t-shirt looks good like all the pieces kind of came together in a really unique way it just started pouring here <laughs> i was like oh my gosh anyway so i got this really classic but chic scarf on one half it's like black and white and the other half it's um gold but um the sales set was saying how like it's gold but it's like actually like beige which is like a very classic chanel color and so it was just you could tell i was really feeling myself in the paris vibes because i bought a scarf and two a see-through shirt and a see-through dress <laughs> it's not really see-through but it's just like i don't know i don't know it's a vibe it's a vibe it's a bop I'm like totally living, dying, loving for it. Sorry, I have to get these. This completes the look. How perfect. And imagine my Mary Jane's on my feet. Like, hello, hello, goodbye, whatever. Okay, so she managed to find the skirt, but that happened the next day. The next thing that happened, wait, let me look at these things okay that's something else that's something else after all that and I was like deciding what to purchase because and I had to narrow things down because listen that was a lot it, things add up that was a lot this is like my big whatever of the year um she was like well I have a surprise for you in the dressing room next door and I was like what is it and in the dress and she was like well let's go and in the dressing room next door she had set up a uh, chanel fine jewelry like high jewelry little personal shopping experience for me and uh the person from like 19 like the from the vendome store uh, was there like to walk me through it and like he was so amazing and she was so amazing and the pieces were so amazing it was just like so incredibly special and we like were so excited and they were like well you should just come to the store tomorrow and like we'll show you more and so I did and you guys I invested in some pieces so instead of a VCA unboxing from this Paris trip, I kind of pivoted my VCA funds to Chanel Fine Jewelry. And I have an unboxing to share with you guys from there. And that will be my next video. So stay tuned for the next video. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Truly, like I just had the most magical experience with Chanel and honestly the most unmagical experience with Hermes. I mean, there is some magic, but that'll be another video too, is um, I will do separate Hermes unboxing and story time video and then perfume. So I have to, I have a lot of work to do. I'm going to 
get to that. I've made it a huge mess here. Let me know what you thought of these items. Um, which one was your favorite? Uh, and anything else? Oh, and then the last, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. So the one thing that I did have on my list that they didn't have, um, which kind of no regrets, uh, was I wanted the Chanel camera bag, uh, which is $9,000 in the US. And I was like, well, if I can get it for less in Europe, you know, and like VAT and all that, maybe it'll be worth it. They said they didn't have it and there really weren't a lot out there. Like they didn't order a lot because it was so expensive. And I was like, yes, makes sense. Um, so I didn't get a bag from Chanel on this trip. I did get a bag though. And I will share that with you in a future video. Okay, I'll talk to you ladies later. Bye.